What's up, guys? And welcome to episode 14 of the How to Code a Spigot plugin for 1.15 series. Sorry I missed last week. I've been a little sick. Still kind of sick, so we'll try to get through this video without uh, me coughing. But in today's episode, we'll be going over the tab completer. Like I said last episode, I'm pretty sure, where you type in, uh, for example, our commands would be my stats. When you type in my stats, you do space, you see all these different options we can choose from. Now, usually these options do not show unless you code in a tab completer. So I'll show you guys today how to do that. So, um, like I said, the plugin we're creating is my stats, and we can see our stats by my stats deaths. We have five total deaths, and then we can also do stuff like mob, mob kills. I didn't kill any mobs or uh, logins. Very simple plugin. The main point, of course, is to show you guys the tab completer right here. Now, if you notice, if I type in M. It'll auto go to mob kills, so it's only one that has to start with M. So I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So without further ado, let's get right into the code. Go ahead and create a new project. You can name this project whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Stats. Go to Next. Go ahead and import your Spigot download. Once you go ahead and do that, open up your uh, project, go into the SRC, and let's create our first package. The package name is going to be me.codedred.stats. And uh, if you don't know how to create a package name, it's really just a website. But if you don't have a website, you can do me.yourname.thename of the project. Once you have the, pro the package created, go ahead, right click on the package, go to new class, and we're going to make a main class. Inside the main class, we're going to type in extends Java plugin. That will get our spigot download into our plugin so we can use the API. Next, we want to type in the onable and the on disable. We'll be using the on enable today. And then basically, what these do, oh, need a void, is whenever the server starts up, the on enable run. Whenever the server shuts down, the on disable will run. All right. All right. Well, don't know why I just pressed, but okay. Once we have that created, we're actually going to create a command class outside. Well, I mean, we create a command method outside of this class. So let's create a new class. Right click on your uh, package, go to S, uh, new class, and we'll name this stats. Stat command. Inside this class right here, we're going to type in implements, command, executor. And then here we'll create our commands. So we'll type in public boolean on command. And we'll need a few parameters here. Then we'll need the parameter of command sender. We'll name it sender command. Name it cmd uh, string called label. And then some arguments, which would be an array of strings. Go ahead and type in return false. Import all of that. And let's get to coding the command itself. So the command is pretty simple. Um, it, I just made it a simple command because I really want to show you guys how to do tab clear. So let's type this up real quick. So we're going to say if the label dot equals ignore case my stats first thing we want to just do is check if the sender is a console so if sender's instance of player and i put the exclamation point there saying if it's not a player go ahead and do this so we're going to say return true here and we'll say sender dot send message The console cannot run this command. Once we know it's not a console, once we know it's a player, go ahead and create the player, 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 equals cast of a player to the sender. And now we can go ahead and start creating the actual command. So we'll say if the args.length equals zero. So this would be a usage. 
So when, this is whenever someone types in slash my stats without any uh, thing after it. So we'll send a usage to them. So player dot send message. We'll say chat color dot red. And here I'll just say usage usage slash my stats and then the options. So we'll do deaths. We'll say logins. Um, what else was it? Mob kills and player kills. Return true. All right. So if arguments is not zero, say if arguments dot length is greater than or equal to one. Now we know that they have an argument after slash my stats. So we're going to say if args of zero, which is the first argument dot equals in our case deaths. Go ahead and do that. And to save time, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this if statement. And we'll paste it four times or three times. And we'll change this devs to logins, this to mob kills, change this to player kills. And like I said, it's a very simple command. So all we're going to say inside here is player dot send message, check color dot aqua, oh, wrong one, check color dot aqua. There we go. And we'll say you have plus, and this is how you get player st stats. So you do player dot stat, get stat, yeah, get statistic. And uh, the statistic, if I can spell. And if you do statistic dot, you can see all the different statistics you can do. and this one is deaths, so we're going to say deaths plus you have 10 deaths. There we go. And just like that, that's all we want to do for our command. So we're going to say if someone types in slash my stats, deaths, we want to say how many deaths they have, and we're just getting the player statistic through the player itself. And um, I'm going to be even more lazy, and I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it all into the if statements below. Because all we're going to do down here is change this deaths to, oh, for this one, it's actually a little different. So you can't track the logins. Uh, we can track the uh, leave when they leave the game. Leave game. So all I'm going to say for leave game is plus one. It's around this spike parentheses because if they leave the game and they join back all we need to know is they logins always gonna have one more than they than their leave so we can add one to the leave game and we know that it's that's how many times they logged in so we say you have logins and we'll say total logins and then for mob kills to the deaths we can do dot mob kills mob kills and then same thing for this one down here instead of deaths we could say player kills change this to player kills all right super easy super simple kind of command and then to get this command in our plugin working when you go back to our main and type in the on enable and say this dot get command the command is my stats dot set executor and the executor is going to be a new stat command and I showed this many videos before this is how you create a uh, command executor so we have the command in another class that implements command executor so then in the main class we just need to set the executor to the command and uh, I put it in a different class because I want to show you guys how to do tab completer. 
and type completer typically you want to put it in its own class so we're going to do that right now let's go ahead and create tab completer click on your package right click go to new class and i'm going to call this stat tab and then for stat tab we're going to implement and it's not the command executor instead it's going to be a tab completer Go import tag completer and the tag completer is a look a bit different from the on command method so the tab completer method is going to look like this a public and it's return a list it's return a string list and we'll name it on tab complete and the parameters will be a command sender we'll name it sender a command cmd a string called label and I've oh yeah and then uh, also arguments all right let me zoom in for you guys so actually it's gonna look very similar to the normal on command method except it's gonna return a string list go ahead and import everything there we go I typed in return null, and what return null is going to do, I'll hop it back in my server real quick. And if we type in slash launch one of our old commands, you'll see return null just returns the name of our, of our player. It won't return anything else. That's what usually what return null does, just returns our name. But we don't want that to happen in our plugin. We actually want it to return certain values. Now, there's many different ways you can do tab completer. The, the main thing you want to do is return what those values will be in a list. Our values are set values. We're not grabbing these values from a config or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is just go up to the top. I'm going to type in list string. I'm going to name this list arguments. I'm going to set equal to a new array list that holds strings. Now I'm making mine a global variable only because I don't feel like adding these values every single time someone tries to type in a command. So what we're to say is if arguments dot is empty, then let's go ahead and add those values in. And the values we're going to add in are just the arguments, the logins, The player kills. Uh, deaths. And then finally, mob kills. Now I type two on each line because I just want uh, the code to look a little shorter. So if this list right here is empty, go ahead and add in the logins. <coughs> Excuse me. The logins, player kills, mob kills, deaths. Add all those values in. So now we don't have to re-add them in every single time someone tries to type in this command. We already have it saved globally. So now that we have those values saved, what we need to do. So the first thing we want to do is type in list string and we're going to name this another list called result. And we'll say new array list. Man, I cannot type today. New array list string. And the reason why I'm creating another list is because like I showed you in game, when I type in slash my stats and I do D, you'll see depths come up. If I don't do what I'm about to do, it'll just show all the values no matter what I'm typing. So I'm about to show you guys if we have multiple, we have multiple arguments that start with M. If I type in M, all the values with M will show up. The M O, all the values with M O will show up. So we'll say if the args dot length equals one, we'll create a for loop. For loop goes through, creates a, creates a string A, and it'll go through all our arguments. And the, what it will do is say if a dot two lowercase 
dot starts with args of zero dot two lowercase. And we're getting it down to all two lowercase so we can uh, can compare them. And we'll say if a dot two lowercase starts with our argument, go ahead and add that to the result. Result add a. And then show the result. Return result. So if someone types in M, add the string M, add this mob kills to the result, and then only show mob kills. Only show the ones that start with M. It'll make your tag completer look way nicer. And that's all we're going to do. It's that simple to create a tag completer. So once you have that done, let's go back into our main class. And just like adding in a command executor, we need to add the tag completer. So this dot get command my stats dot set tab completer to a new and we're just typing our class name stat tab and boom we are done the last thing we need to do of course is create that plugin.yml and a lot of people still have problems with this I'm clicking my SRC right clicking on it go to new file and then all lowercase plugin.yml this plugin.yml you should still be able to see it if you close your package it should be outside your package and the insider yml we're saying me my main sorry main.me.codedred.stats.main the name of of the plugin will be what I name again stats the version 1.0 the author will be yourself and then we have one simple command of my stats all right let's go ahead and export this to the server and see how it works all right reloading my server now I'll type in my stats. I'll just type in the command real quick and you'll see you get the usage. My stats, defs, logins, mob kills, player kills. So let's do my stats space and you'll see all the different options we can do. And of course, tab completer, you can tab one of these options and you'll be, uh, be able to do it right away. But let's do in uh, my kills and type in D and you'll see defs. And uh, yeah, we're done right now. But real quick, I'm going to show you guys what it will look like if you didn't do this. So I'm gonna comment this out. And instead of return null, I'm gonna return the arguments. Don't go ahead and type this, this is, you can just follow along real quick. I'm gonna update it real quick. So now if we didn't have this argument, the args length uh, if statement right here, what it would look like so when I type in my stats space, you'll still get the arguments. But if I type in D, you'll see none of them are updating. It kind of looks pretty ugly. It doesn't like update with your uh, with the values you're typing in. So that's why we do this if statement right here. Oh, sorry. Let me zoom in. So that's why we do this if statement right here is because we want to we want it to look nice, and we also you know, want to show them all the values that start with D, start with L, start with M. It just makes Tab Clear look 10 times better. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope you guys use Tab Completer with your commands. It really does help and make your command look better. It makes it, look, it, makes it stand out from the crowd. So, uh, see you guys in the next episode, episode 15. And I'm going to go over saving an inventory to a file. and show you guys how to do inventories when the server shuts down and save like private inventories like a like a vault and uh thank you guys for watching see you guys next time